Hello champions, I'm the red player in this game, and today I've got a great spawn for one border bull. The yellow player is the first player to make a turn bow, and he'll be going for crow. And a super great spawn for him right there. Three throws by green, the green player got a great spawn for the rooster. Could just simply take over it immediately right there, guys. Alright, so the blue player would like to be allies, and I'm going to send Salan's requests. So the rest of the players as well, guys, so I'm not sure about the pearl player yet, because I'll have to crush his fourth through army. Alright, well, he will not good, guys, right there, but the green player will be in this rooster hold. I'm kind of afraid taking over the wolf now. Means, would the pearl player move out from this place? Do not really think so, guys. Okay, well, I'll make him, I'll send him on lance request. Let's see if he accepts it when I'm not going to. Blitz his army, guys, but so far, so far, he doesn't see anything, guys. But we'll just simply capture a territory of the yellow player, guys. And that's it, man. Four throws by purple. Yeah, if the purple player had accepted my land request, guys, then I would have moved out to Fenrir Pawns. Pause right there, and would have told him to attack the green player, guys, hoping that he would go to circles right there. But he doesn't want to communicate, guys, so we'll just simply have to blitz his troops. And he fails three versus one, guys. Wow. Five throws by blue. Alright, so the blue player will go for Squirrel, right? Or rather Tosker. Yeah, do not see another good option to him, guys. Yeah, so he just summoned the most right there, guys. Yes, because right there, Reindeer right there is too crowded. And so Pearl player is already going for that. For the horse. So I do not think that would work, have worked out either. Finally, the pink player could go for either cat or the hog, guys. And he decides to go for the cat, right? A one border cat, guys. Three troops by yellow. The yellow player is going for one border crow. Right, so me, yellow, and pink will have one border hold, guys. Well, not a guarantee about me, though, guys. Maybe the green player fortifies more troops to circles. So basically, wouldn't be able to take over the wolf anymore. Or the green player would just simply wipe me out immediately. Six throws by green. Let's see. Well, hopefully, he doesn't blitz my four troop army in the hog. I'd like to be able to capture territories elsewhere. Besides wolf, because Otherwise, I would be just simply trapped behind the green player's rooster. Right, so territory of yellow, guys, and... Right, well, the yellow player will get wiped out from there as well, I assume, guys. So the yellow player will be forced to attack the squirrel, which is terrible for the blue player, guys. Tackle the blue player wants me to attack yellow. Well, thumbs up, I guess I can just simply wipe out the yellow player from this place. If that's any help for you, let's go right there, guys. Hopefully I get a good blitz, a good attacker's advantage. And so, right, well, that's good, I guess. Let's fortify like this. Three throws by purple. Alright, well, I do not like the purple player's position as much, guys. The pink player is behind him, so do not think the purple player is holding the horse. Right, four versus two. The purple player captures a territory as well, guys. Which I guess is a smart choice. As for the horse, he would have still have to capture golden main, even if he had successfully made those blitzes right there. Right, so okay, well, the blue player is preventing the yellow player from getting a card. At the very least, in the squirrel hall, guys, he basically forces the yellow player to add more truth at there. So, unless the pink player wipes out yellow, guys, but for the pink player, that wouldn't be that good, I guess. Yeah, so he'll just simply capture a territory right there, guys. Will he break through green so far? No, he doesn't. The yellow player should be careful, guys, because if he adds too many truths right there, then the blue player could even consider wiping him out from the crow. So, the yellow player's situation is complicated in that sense, but at least not as bad as the purple player situation. As the purple player's position, guys. Right, so well, I mean, the purple player is soon losing the game, guys, it seems. And the green player is expanding to reindeer, guys. Myself, I'd like to expand to the hog. Five throws by me. One more troop right there, of course, and I'm going to add more troops like this. Let's go and let's fortify this way. Three throws by purple. The purple player is only left in a single place, guys. Should be the first player to get eliminated from the game. So, unless possibly the yellow player gets it out from there, guys, and the blue player wipes him out from the crow, but right there, the purple player gets a terrible blitz. So, basically, that's the game over for the purple player, guys. He's only left at seven troops. Three throws by blue. Right there, I do not want him to move out from the green player as well, guys, because the green player would get another halt and right there, plus four troops, guys. The green player would be receiving plus seven throws. Well, right there, I'm cunning, would be still cunning, disadvantage to take over this hog, guys. But yeah, basically, the blue player wants to avoid his troops getting crushed. I mean, hopefully the pink player doesn't add more troops to her guys, but we'll see. Hopefully he just simply eliminates the purple player or something. Yes. 
It's here, maybe he even go to the rooster guys to break through the rooster's head, but no. Right, but I mean, still doesn't eliminate purple. Five throws by yellow. Hmm. The problem is if I take over before guys, I will run out of territories to attack. Assuming we green player takes over this guys, and he will. So that's a little bit of a problem. Right, I guess I'll just simply continue adding more trust with her guys. The purple player, hilarious news. The purple player just simply accepts my lance request right now, guys. Wow. Let's go. Three throws by purple. Let's see. He doesn't have a set, guys. Or will he trade in a set? Let's see. Will he just simply smash these troops into the pink player? And small rolls or something? No, he just simply skips a card, guys. Right? He's trying to survive. Three troops by blue. If your blue player has a set, he could eliminate the purple player. Or if he gets good enough blitzes, he could even eliminate... The yellow player, I guess. Okay, well, that's complicated, guys. The yellow player got trapped in a single border crow. Crow right there. Right, well, the pink player has more trust right there, guys. Is he wiping me out? So far, not. So far, not. Five throws by yellow. Right. Will he fortify his 12 troop army out, guys, or what will he do right where he switches to mono rolls? But why is he only using two of them, guys? Two dice. Right. Fortifies this way. Turn throws by green. I can heal add more throws at there, guys. Let's see. Hopefully he fortifies back over by green. I'm forced to break through you, though. You have a very strong counter attack army right there. Let's see. I'm sorry, but I need to attack your territory. Okay, well, wrong. This one. And I'll phone up. Please fortify back. Yes. A heart. Let's go. Let's take over this, guys. And I'm going to fortify back. Three throws by purple. I mean, so every green player got the biggest advantage, but at the same same time he might bring the most attention on himself by other players guys so he has one upside and another downside in this case i think it favors him more because for example other players that were busy with each other so for example yellow and blue and the pink player that were just simply seems fine just having one hull guys but we'll see how about eventually guys right so well, the blue player will wait to trade in a set guys i guess only when he'll try to eliminate yellow or something. Or maybe not because that wouldn't be bold for the cards. Right and he moves out, guys. He actually moves out. Is that a good play? Here's the question. I mean, that will definitely allow the yellow player to make a comeback, which will be good for the balance of the game. But the blue player's position will, stay, will still stay miserable. Right and the pink player doesn't move out from this place, guys. So the green player will have to attack to either with Luf or to the Gaskin. Let's see, right, well, the yellow player will be taking over squirrel, guys. Let's go to keep breaks through the green player, guys. Let's go. It's really, really nice. I mean, that's kind of random to see that, but yeah, that's something what I like a lot. Seven throws by green. Let's see if the green player relates back, guys. Hopefully, the green player doesn't eliminate me or something. The green player could have told to the yellow player to attack his territory if he needs to and to attack red. But I mean, we set values for trips. I mean, six troops now once the green player traded in a set, so that would be very rare to see the green player eliminating me. Let's see if he breaks through the yellow player, though, guys. I mean, he could eliminate the yellow player. He got 36 requirements, the yellow player got 32 troops. And yes, yes, gets even attacker's advantage, guys. Okay, but is the yellow player surviving? And it's it would be better if the yellow player survive, guys, right? I do not want the green player taking over this four calls at all, guys, and... Let's see, he's going to run out of time, and yes, he does. Five throws by me, right? Let's trade in a set. Should I break through the green player, guys? Here's the biggest question. Let's go, I guess, right? To the any troops. Right, well, I'm sorry, green, but I have to attack your territory. A heart of the blue player, guys. Right, well, I'm just simply going to break through this. Because the green player is holding a lot of stuff, guys. Three throws by purple. Okay, pink, please attack the green player. And the blue player, too, if possible. Right, the yellow player accepts my lance request, guys. That's nice. <laughs> well, the yellow player is basically dead, guys. I mean, he, he'll trade in a set, though. Let's see, purple, well, you're locked. You're locked right there. And the blue player is still kill guarding you. Will he eliminate you from the game? Alright, he trips with set value 10 trips, guys. Yes, so it's worth for him to eliminate purple. Let's see, 33 trips, guys. He will lose his 2 trips more. Doesn't get the attacker's advantage, but the purple player is finally eliminated from the game. Let's see, okay, will he blitz the pink player, guys? Would be hilarious to see that. Let's see, 10 trips. Right, please attack the green player. Please attack the green player. Because otherwise the green player's attention will be on me once he eliminates yellow. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, so that, that's, 
was all done said for the green player, guys. So I would expand like that. But we'll see, guys. Maybe he still gets the yellow player skill if the yellow player doesn't have a set. Let's see if the pink player breaks through the green player, guys. Please attack green. Please attack green. Don't you take over horse. Don't you take over horse like that. Let's see. Okay, well, the blue player wants me to attack green, guys. Let's see what about the pink player, guys. Right, well, a thumbs up to the blue player, guys. Right. And a heart. But yeah, I mean, it's right where if the pink player doesn't break through the green player, guys, that basically makes the pink and... Green players to be friends. I guess a smart move by the pink player, guys. Let's see, yellow. Do you have a set? Yes, he does, guys. 15 trips. Will he just simply blitz the green player's army or what will he do? Let's see. Okay, I mean, he shouldn't do that, guys. Shouldn't do that at all. Otherwise, he'll just simply get eliminated from the game next. Okay, but let's see. Blitzes or doesn't blitz. Right? I mean, he pointed out, guys, but... Refuse to pull the trigger. A throws by green. Right on the means of blue players at 4 cards. We set value right where 20 troops would be kind of worth to eliminate him from the game. Maybe I'll go for that, guys. I do not know. Haven't decided yet. Set key attack with green player with pink player. Says, well, you haven't attacked the green player yourself, sir. Fire throws by me. Key 20 troops. I mean, I wouldn't leash with green players army towards myself. This is one of the reasons I do not want to eliminate the blue player from the game, guys. Right where I'm sorry, green, I have to attack your territory, but right where I'll just simply finish taking over this hole like this. Let's go and let's fortify back. Three throws by blue. Let's see, okay, well, he trades in a set, guys. So he will survive. And so right where it makes this game even more intriguing, guys. He goes right there. And that's a single trap territory. Sun throws by pink. Right. Okay, will he actually be attacking the green player? No, guys. He blitzes some army of me, but that's fine. Five throws by yellow. Right. So, I mean, if he attacks that very huge leashes the green player's army, the green player is at four cards. Seven throws by yellow. I mean by green. Let's see, I mean, that's where the blue player is in a better situation than I am, guys. Maybe you should have eliminated him from the game after all. Hmm. Because he could eliminate me at where. Once he trades on a set and that's where he is about to trade on a set first, guys. Before me. Since this one card I had. Would be interesting to wipe out the pink player from his place, guys, if I have enough troops. But eight trips, guys. Right. I'll just simply leave troops like that, guys. Let's see if a pink player doesn't trade on a set, guys. Maybe I'm wiping him out. But yeah, we'll still see what I want to do, guys. And hopefully the blue player fortifies his army back from this place. And no, he doesn't, guys. No, he doesn't. Which is not good to me. Right. I mean, he sends me a card, guys. But yeah, I should be very careful about that. He might try to eliminate me from the game, guys. We'll see. Right. Attack a pink player, the yellow player says. Well, this is what I'm kind of considering doing, right? Very... At the very least, if a black player hadn't fortified and, and left with this army right there, guys. Right? Well, this situation is complicated to the yellow guys because right there means if he blitzes this army, then the green, then basically the pink player eliminates him. But if he doesn't blitz, then the green player could eliminate him from the game. So we'll see, right? Does the green player go for the yellow player's elimination or not, guys? Okay, the set value will be 35 troops. Ideally, to me, he eliminates the blue player, I think. Okay, attack the blue player. Eliminate blue player from the game because I do not like him stacking troops. But guys, okay, well, the green player is... That's very... Puts a strong defense against the pink player. Right, fortify back. He troops by me. Right, so would be interesting to wipe out the pink player from his place, guys. But right, where the blue player's army looks to be very strong, guys. He might try to eliminate me. So I do not want to make it to be war for the cards, guys. Right, well, he trades in a 35 percent. I mean, if he eliminates me, he wouldn't be able to trade on a set immediately, so might be eliminated next. Let's see, all right. But here goes right there, guys. Right, few guys, that was close, I think. Definitely not unleashing with fluff right there, guys. The pink player trades on a set, guys. Let's see, will he blitz the yellow player or what will he do? Right, there, let's see. Will he add more troops right there, guys? Because I'm really considering wiping him out from this place if he doesn't. The blue player already moved his army out. But right there, I moved my troops out from the shoulder. Right, I've got a set, guys. I've got a set. Nice. Right, where the yellow player doesn't get an easy card, guys. He has to blitz the venue of green or just simply go back. And let's see. Let's see, yellow, what do you do? And he skips. Seven throws by green. Right, where I've got a set, guys, so I'm safe. So as long as I trade in a set. And as long as the green player doesn't eliminate me in this turn. But you got your throws locked for me. Right, attack my territory if you need to, right? Well, yes, I'll help you out, I guess. Yes, hard. 
Let's read an asset, guys, and... Hmm. Well, if I wipe out the pink player from this place, guys, right away. Yeah, he could just simply break through the green players one. Trip territory, guys. So in this case, he wouldn't have to blitz a lot of troops, guys. In this case, I'm not wiping out. He may no more from your hug. A card to the blue player, guys, right away. And let's fortify back. Right, three troops by blue. Right, I mean, he leaves his army right there. Maybe the green player will make him a territory to attack, well, we'll see. Right, hmm. How does the game progress right there, guys? How does the game progress right there, guys? We'll see. Right, so what about the yellow player, guys? He finally blitzes that, but I think he'll just simply get eliminated by the pink player. Yes, game over for yellow, guys. Lethal mistake. We'll be super surprised, guys, if the yellow player still survives. Seven troops by green. Right, well, the green player doesn't have good access to eliminate yellow. Right, and he adds more troops to the hog, guys. Is he wiping out the pink player, guys? And it seems like, yes, he does, but... I won't have a territory to attack when green. will have to break through your hold, so unless right where you can block me. Let's see if you do. And... Right, so we'll attack my territory if you need to make me a card. Either attack my territory or I'm sorry, I need to attack your territory. Right, he leaves his troops right there, guys, but right there, okay. I'll still be able to break through right there. I'll send you a card, but I'm sorry, but I have to attack your territory right there. Right, attack my territory if you need to. And I'm going to go back, guys. Right there, I do not care about this rooster cult. It only gives plus three troops. While we set very is 55 troops, guys, let's see. Right, well, the blue player could protect the yellow player now, guys, depending on here. Alright, he fortifies this way. Nine troops by pink. Yeah, but I mean, the pink player still have a good access to eliminate the yellow player, guys. Right? He doesn't, doesn't eliminate the yellow player, guys. It was definitely worth for the cards. We set value 55 troops, and the yellow player had even four cards, not even three, guys. He <laughs> will he eliminate blue, guys. He definitely shouldn't do so. And. What will you do? Blitz is the pink player, guys. Even a bigger mistake by the pink player, guys. Right there. Not only he missed an easy elimination, which would have increased his advantage, but he's also getting completely demolished by the yellow player. Wow. Let's see, right? Well, blue, please attack. Well, no, I came. Yeah, I would like to eliminate the pink player, guys, but right there, I cannot go through the blue player. Right? Let's see, attack my territory if you need to. Yeah, attack my territory, please make me a territory to attack. But I guess I mean, it could still attack right there. But just basically, attack. He attack, okay, well, he doesn't attack, guys. Means the yellow player, the green player got this army lock, guys, would be good, but he got locked this army as well if he attacked the breast, for example. Hmm, let's see, eight troops. We set value six troops. Alright, so the question is, what do I do right there, guys? Okay, I would lose 30 troops on the blue player skill, but could eliminate the pink player from the game, which would give me troops back. Right, so what I mean? Let's see. Right where, let's go, guys. I think I'll still go with it on right where. I'm hoping to get the attacker's advantage. Let's see, right? Yes, good attacker's advantage. I eliminate the blue player from the game, guys. I'll eliminate the pink player as well. Let's go. Let's go with this, guys, and then I'll see if I can eliminate the green player. Because he said three cards while the yellow player is at you. Let's go, but maybe I can just simply still go with that, guys. Right, we'll, we'll see what about right where, like this. Right, so, key 65 troops. This is the set value. Right, well, let's eliminate him from the game, guys. It's your key good attacker's advantage. Right, well, let's see. Maybe I still eliminate yellow depending on how many cards will I have left. Let's see, let's go, guys. Yes. Yes, I think I just simply go for this killing spree now. Yes, how to eliminate the yellow player like that, guys. Let's go. Right, well, I just simply saw the winning opportunity, guys. Let's go. Let's eliminate the yellow player from the game. I mean, the green player was a super great ally, so right where I think really happy to spare him the last, to give him the second place, guys. Especially when I saw it will be enough troops for me to eliminate the yellow player, guys, and still be good to trade on a set. Let's go. Okay, maybe should maybe should have had my troops in a single place. Okay, but doesn't matter, guys. Let's just simply proceed going right there, over there, like this. Will be 100% blitzes. Good game. Well played. I'll send you a card, sir. Thank you very much for being a good ally. We lost territory, guys. And that's a GG, guys. And the green player even had a set of three cards. Super happy with this killing spree. Novice, intermediate, novice, beginner, and intermediate.